biofuel that is consumed in Canada is largely produced in the United States. And that might be surprising. <laughs> you would wonder why that would be. And that's because the United States is quite a bit further ahead of Canada in its uh, support and subsidies of the production of biofuel. As a result, you know, as strange as it may seem, Canadians are importing biofuel from the United States because it's less expensive. It's still coming as a significant premium. We're quite certain that the fuel profile for our next generation of ships will be quite different. Um, but we need a solution for the existing ships in our fleet. For the last four years, we've been turning our focus to reducing carbon emissions through the use of uh, biofuel, which is made from agricultural waste and so it doesn't affect the, the food chain. We initially began it as a trial on one ship. We now have eight ships running fully on B100, which is 100% uh, biofuel. And we're now in our fifth year and operating in Canadian vessels. It's been very successful. We've had no operational issues at all with the use of biofuel. It's been a game changer for us as well from an environmental perspective. I think at last count, we've up to 50,000 megatons of carbon displaced on a yearly basis. And as I mentioned earlier, it um, also represents the world's largest marine biofuel tax. It amounts to about the equivalent of a 80% reduction in CO2 emissions for the vessels that are running on biofuel. You call it a test. It's, I think at this point, we're out of the proof of concept stage. We've, we've, we've proved that it can work. It's, it's working extremely well. And we're convinced that uh, biofuel is the ideal low carbon transition fuel until we can reach a zero carbon fuel. So this is, just to be clear, a solution for our existing fleets because no modification is required to the kit equipment in order to run the biofuel. It can run, as we've tested it, safely, cleanly, efficiently, using biofuel instead of fossil fuels. The challenge though is that biofuel is considerably more expensive than diesel fuel. And biofuel that is consumed in Canada is largely produced in the United States. And that might be surprising. <laughs> you would wonder why that would be. And that's because the United States is quite a bit further ahead of Canada in its support and subsidies of the production of biofuel. As a result, you know, as strange as it may seem, Canadians are importing biofuel from the United States because it's less expensive. It's still coming as a significant premium. What we would like to see is the Canadian government showing its commitment to decarbonization by supporting the production of biofuel in Canada and also supporting and uh, subsidizing the use of biofuel for on Canadian ships. We uh, could see different ways that you could do this. One would be uh, a multiplier effect for carbon credits, for example. So if you're burning biofuel, you could have a multiplier for the carbon credits, which would offset the additional cost of running biofuel. We continue to do it because we think it's the right thing to do, but we're really keen to see the rest of the industry come along. In order to do so, it's got to have to become affordable. And our ability to continue to burn biofuel will really depend on our ability to be able to acquire biofuel at a price which is competitive with um, uh, alternative fuels, and which unfortunately is not the case today, Tim.